Hello, welcome to my animation videos. My name is Dr. Julian De Silva and I'm a London-based facial cosmetic and plastic surgeon. I specialize in blepharoplasty and only complete procedures on the face. The aim of these videos is to provide you with information and detail on how eyelid surgery is completed, to give you an awareness of the intricate anatomy that is involved in the eyelid and an understanding of both expectations from eyelid surgery and limitations. I hope these videos are useful for you. Thank you for watching. The common changes that we see in the lower eyelid with aging include bags, which is essentially orbital fat that's coming forward in the lower eyelid, Often there can be other features such as dark circles beneath the lower eyelid and a component of loose skin. The anatomy of the lower eyelid is very intricate and each person's anatomy is slightly different. And younger patients that are associated with having bags, well this is really related to a phenomenon called negative vector which was related to the position of the cheek in relation to the eyelid. In terms of your lower eyelids, well, as they age, some of the orbital fat, which acts as a cushion protecting your eye in everyday activities, some of that orbital fat can come forwards in the lower eyelid and you can see that as a bulge. In terms of lower eyelid surgery, well, there are two ways in which this surgery can com be completed. And the older technique, which involved a scar in the skin, also known as transcutaneous surgery, well, this is the older way in which the eye surgery is completed. And a more modern way, which is my preference, is to hide the scar on the inside of the eyelid, which is called transconjunctival surgery. In terms of anaesthetic, well, different types of anaesthetic can be used for lower eyelid surgery. General anaesthetic means you're completely unconscious, but is associated with longer recovery time. Local anaesthetic means you're completely awake, but does have a fast recovery. My preference is sedation anesthesia, which essentially means you sleep during the surgery, which means that your recovery is fast, but you're completely relaxed during the whole experience, and this leads to a more favorable experience. In terms of transconjunctival surgery, which is my preference, the scar is hidden on the inside of the eyelid. Using electrocortical, we can minimize bruising, minimize bleeding from the surgery. Some of the fat in the lower eyelid is repositioned and moved, called transposition. Some of the fat is removed and reshaped. I personally support the lower eyelid with a canthopexy stitch, which gives additional protection um, during the recovery period. Dark circles may require additional treatment, such as the use of fat transfer to fill hollowing beneath the lower eyelid. And laser resurfacing can be used to improve the quality of the skin after the surgery by tightening the skin, reducing fine lines, wrinkles, and pore size. When considering eyelid surgery, it's important to remember that no two people have the identical eyes and the fine detail is very important in eyelid surgery. Part of this involves the technical details and how the surgery is completed and the other part involves the artistry on how the surgery is completed. There are often associated techniques such as the use of laser resurfacing, biotechnology and the use of platelet-rich plasma that will enhance the results from eyelid surgery and improve the rate of healing and give you a faster recovery. It's also important to remember what the limitations are from eyelid surgery. And all eyelid surgery and blepharoplasty is about an improvement and it is rare to achieve absolute perfection. In my opinion, if you're considering having eyelid surgery, it's important to do adequate research to ensure the best possible result for you. And that research involves looking into how the surgery is going to be completed, what is likely to be the final result from the eyelid surgery that you're having, what associated techniques are going to be used in order to achieve that, and what is your likely recovery time in order to have the final result. I hope this information has been useful for you. Thank you for watching.